quick intro. We are at the Dollar Tree. We are buying Dollar Toothpaste. We are going to sell them online for more money. This video will cover the entire process of finding that inventory, as well as, at the end of it, explaining how you can do this at other stores and make a lot more money than at the Dollar Tree. The basic idea is learn the process, watch more videos, make more money. If you don't get that, you're going to have to leave. If you like that idea, let's go inside right now. Walking into my favorite Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar, that's the whole thing here. So again, the buy cost on all these items is one dollar. In my Dollar Tree, the toothpaste is in the front corner by the balloons. It might be different in yours, but in mine, that's where it is. As we're looking for toothpaste, we're really going to be focusing on two main things. Is it profitable and how fast does it sell? The app I'm using, now write this down, is called Profit Bandit. Here's how it looks. What I do basically is open the app on my phone. I have an iPhone, they have them for Android too. You hit the top left corner and it scans the barcode on the item. Right there, I'm scanning it. I have a few to choose from. I'm picking a four pack because that's the lowest sales rank and lowest sales rank means it sells the fastest. And as you can see, yeah, it's kind of profitable. On the next item, I want to show you that there's no FBA price. That means that there's no buy box on Amazon. If you don't understand that, watch more of my videos. The fact that there's no buy box means that we can dictate the price it sells for. So even though there's one for sale for about $5 or $7, I mean, uh, we can still charge more than that because Amazon gives priority to FBA sellers. And again, if you don't know what this means, watch more of my videos. I explain everything. Hey guys, back in the warehouse, one quick thing, and then we'll be back to the Dollar Tree toothpaste stuff. But if I don't say this, I'm going to get a bajillion comments and they're going to say, that's not right. You shouldn't do that. Okay. If I'm selling a product and the product is understood to be what it is it's transparently advertised and the price is agreed upon by both parties all actors are consenting how possibly could that be immoral i don't know but now back to the dollar tree stuff because that's why you're here this toothpaste is kind of interesting because when i looked it up as you're going to see right here the product that came up is not the one i want to sell so what i do now is i go to the top input bar and I actually put in the product's name. I, I did it wrong the first time. It's actually two and a half ounces. On toothpastes, the ounces, the ounce count is very important as well as the pack count. So this 2.5 ounce tube in a pack of three goes for this much. And as you can see again, it's kind of profitable. If you want to see how often the products sell, you swipe left on your app and you're gonna see a sales rank chart. The sales rank chart shows every dip in sales rank and those only occur when a product sells. Makes sense, right? This next one's unique because it's not a name brand. It's just sensitive toothpaste. But you know what? That still matters. There are people there who want these niche products, whether it be discontinued name brands or just stuff for their sensitive little teeth. Either way, you want to look for things like that. We're not trying to find the main stuff. We're trying to find the things that are forgotten, the things that fall off the shelves, per se. Excuse the flowers b-roll, I uh, forgot to get more footage. So this one's interesting because it's not toothpaste, it's denture cream or denture cleaner or something to do with dentures. When we scan it, we say, hey, it's still profitable, uh, but not the fastest selling thing. And so I wanna go back and check it for uh, the bulk pack. They sell them in a 12 pack too. Not as good of a deal and even selling less. So. Sometimes it makes more sense to sell them individually, even though that might be counterintuitive. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, but you're like, wait a minute, he said he's going to show us at the end of the video a trick to make more money. And you know what I'm going to. The process you just watched, me going into a dollar store and buying stuff and selling it for more, you can do that anywhere. Walmart, thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, your basement, your attic, someone else's basement, trash cans dumpsters there is money everywhere and by using this process of only looking up the prices looking up the market price of certain products you can capitalize on taking things from point a a dollar store a trash can someone's basement and moving them to point b someone who wants that shit that's how you make money that's the value you're adding thanks for watching join the facebook group subscribe like my facebook page Join the Patreon, share the video, be a good person.